Hey guys, if you guys need your 12 and O's, domination, Evos, any sorts of online or offline grinding, be sure to hit up Rose NBA on Twitter. The link to his Twitter will be in the description down below. What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Here today, I'm going to be showing you guys a video on the brand new playbook that is probably going to be best for offline grinding. Uh, similar to what the Nets playbook was last year um, with Quick Through STS. This is just a brand new play. Um, now I will say this right away. It doesn't really work as well as quick to STS did I'm still gonna be looking for a better play, but I did want to share this one with you guys just so you guys do have a play um, It really is a difference maker. I went from shooting like 40% to like 80% in domination games So it does make a big difference and I've been using this team the entire time eviling up these guys from domination So it definitely does work So that playbook that we are gonna be covering here today is going to be the Atlanta Hawks playbook I'm gonna be talking about the play in the playbook that does work, but also I'm gonna be showing you guys a play that um you actually doesn't even require a play it does come from just a standard free thing that you get um but it doesn't really work as well so i do really recommend using this playbook i'm going to show you guys the different ways to run it here so if you guys do enjoy this video be sure to leave a like on it be sure to subscribe to the channel if you guys are new we're on the road to 60k man so feel free to do so like i said i am still live on twitch right now though so if uh if i seem like i'm talking to somebody i'm not talking to myself there is a chat involved, so don't worry. But uh, yeah, let's get into this though. Like I said, I'm not using amethyst and rubies. I'm literally using emeralds and sapphires and golds. And trust me, it's still gonna work. You guys get into a game, what you're gonna do is you're gonna actually go to your freelance here and you're gonna go to Hawks 2018. Basically just gives you some easy like floor spacing. It's not really necessary to do. I just think it's a little bit better. So I would just do it anyway. Um, but what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to quick isolation and you're gonna scroll down to where it says give 25 hawks now this is going to be the play that like i said is basically like what um quick through sts is but there is a little bit more of a complicated thing to it now it is still very easy to run and it does work about 90 percent of the time now it's not going to work every single time so if it doesn't work one time and you throw a turnover don't freak out and be like oh it doesn't work just give it some time i've easily been shooting 80 percent every game i got seku dumbia done in one game so it just obviously you know like i said it works so what you're going to want to do is assign the play to who you want to run it through so for this game i'm just going to say mccall why not um and then that's really all you have to do now you can switch it to uh different people when you want to run it through somebody else um that last game i actually ended up getting shake milton grant williams and doombia all done in one game now obviously the other two the first two I was already pretty far ahead in so it wasn't like you know i just started and scored you know like 150 points that's obviously not how that went um but yeah it is very easy to run so don't really stress about it like i said if it doesn't work right away it's completely fine uh as a tip for defense the only thing i really recommend doing is putting on crash the glass ever since i did that it does seem to work a little bit better um but yeah seiku dumbia too is i'm gonna make a video on him he is probably by far the best domination reward you could do um but anyway so what you guys are gonna see right here we're gonna run this play and macaw is gonna go on the other side of the floor now when you run this you guys will see he'll be standing up here Shaq is going to run here and all you're going to want to do is point to him and you're going to hold either triangle or Y and what that's going to do is actually send him on a backdoor cut. Now what that does is it actually gives him a wide open um, layup or dunk. Now again, it's not going to work every single time. There may be some times that result in a turnover. Sometimes it'll result in a block. Whatever the case is, it, it happens. It happened last year with Cook through STS too. But again, this one, they don't cut automatically. What you're going to have to do is actually, you know, like I said, tell them to do that backdoor cut. So it's very easy to do. All you have to do is once again, hold triangle or Y. And all you got to do is point to them using your left analog stick. And once you do that, they will cut back door. And it's very simple. Now, one thing I have learned about this play, good contest. That literally wasn't even close. But one thing I have learned about this play is you can't actually spam it as much as you could last year. Now, what I mean by that is you can run it basically all game. You just can't run it back to back to back to back to back to back to back times. So you guys can see back to back right there. It does work. But if you continuously try to do it, the computer will adapt and end up, you know, stealing it, blocking it, whatever the case is. And it doesn't really work out that way. Let's go. Good block from Shaq right there. So again, you guys will see, we're going to set this right back up and it's really as simple as it was last year, except you just have to press like one more button. So again, you're going to point to him. He's going to cut back door. You're going to let go pass it. And it's an easy dunk. So this is going to help you guys out. Also, I'm going to make a video on evil wing domination cards. This is going to be basically one of the plays that I show you guys. Now there are some other ones that I am going to be showing you that do work out just as well. 
um and again it all is very simple to do and it's just repetition doing the same thing um and it really will be the difference between you shooting 40 percent in a domination game to shooting you know 80 percent or whatever so same thing we're gonna point he's gonna cut back door and actually we're gonna get an and one right there so if that wasn't a foul call and say that i missed that it's not the end of the world you're still gonna be playing all game long and still gonna be having plenty of opportunities to score and whatnot as we do miss the free throw unfortunately but this is how i've been basically getting most of these guys done the only thing i have been struggling with as Seku, my man, getting a nice little uh, snatch block. One of the only things that I have been struggling with is the threes between Grant Williams and Shake Milton. Other than that, though, these domination evos have been very easy to do. As you guys will see, once again, wide open, easy dunk in the paint. It's literally just about repetition, doing the same thing, and yeah, just scoring very easily. So I'm actually going to show you guys what to do without this play here up next. Or I don't know why. I, I don't, yeah, I don't know why I paused the game right there. You don't even need to assign a player anything um everything is basically set in already it's just a different freelance you're going to be running so i will show you guys that in just here in a minute we're just going to wait for Giannis or whoever urson i mean somebody shoot the ball please all right so you're going to go ahead and go to freelances and you're going to hit 21 delay now you're not going to do anything else all you're going to do is run a pick and roll i don't know why seiku just flew in like that but you guys will see that he did kind of get open it was just because the beginning part was a little bit broken um but yeah, you guys saw right there that all that really does is give you a nice little wide open thing again. So all you're going to do is you're not going to run anything. You're going to have that freelance. You're going to call for the screen. Now, when you pass the ball, you're going to tell the guy that passed the ball to cut. That's why I don't really like this one because it doesn't really work out for me. So I just heard that it's been working out for other people. That is why I like to stick to the play. And you guys can see like we are shooting 100% already. Now, again, if it results in some turnovers, some missed shots, whatever, it's okay. It's not the end of the world. It's just going to happen. It's the way that this game works. I'm pretty sure it's impossible to shoot 100% in a game. I mean, you could try. Probably not going to work out, though, all that well. So I'll run it one more time with McCall here and show you guys again. It's as simple as this. And I will see you guys at the end of the game with what the final like little box score looks like. Um, last thing I actually do want to say is you guys will see it right there that the guy rotates over and tries to double team the guy passing. He's not actually there to pick off the pass. Um... He's not there to like jump the passing lane. He's actually running over to double team Shaq. So if you're finding out that you're passing the ball and it is getting picked off or whatever, just be patient and wait. Don't throw it right away. Like you're literally, you don't have to throw it right away, but I do recommend backing up a little bit. So I'm going to show you guys what I mean by that right here. When I do give it to him, I know he's going to get double teamed again. So I'm going to start going to the sideline here and you guys will see it's going to clear up a lot of space. Easy layup, 14 points from a call, have not missed a shot yet and we're up 16 to 4. So even being on Hall of Fame, it's very easy to do. And again, I'm doing this with Emerald. So it's not like I'm using a full AMI team. Shout out to my man for dropping the sub mid video. But uh, yeah, very easy to do. The block right there again from Shaq. Literally just repetition all quarter long. I'll show you this entire first quarter if you guys want. Again, same thing right here. We're going to give the ball to Shaq. Right here, easy back door, easy layup. There you go. So rounding out this game here, you guys will see that Patrick McCaw actually ends or has like 60 something points. He has 63 points right now. And I'm going to show you guys the shooting percentages. And again, um, this isn't going to guarantee you, you know, a bucket every single possession, but nine times out of 10, it will work. I'll show you guys again what my shooting percentage is and how high it is and how high it can be. Um, I ended up shooting a lot more threes than I probably wanted to. Um, just because I just, I just want to hit one. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, yeah. He shot 29 of 31, um, really high percentage from him. Um, and then as a team, I shot 76%. And then I was 0 of 8 from 3. So we were only missed 3 shots that weren't 3s. So you guys can see it does make a difference. And again, this is against the Bucks, who are a very good team. Uh, I can honestly tell you guys, the only, the only team that has given me a problem with this playbook has been the, uh, the um, Indiana Pacers why i don't know they just for some reason jumped the screen every single time they just didn't they i don't know they just they were a pain to play other than that though this playbook has worked very nicely and i hope it does work for you if you guys have any questions feel free to one pull up to the twitch because i'm still going to be live when you guys see this video and two just comment them down below and i'll do my best to answer them um if you guys did enjoy this video like i said i think i just got error coded that's awesome that's fantastic but be sure to hit the like button subscribe if you guys are new and uh, yeah, peace.